one of the other more notable adjustments you've made with regards to the IMF numbers lately have been in Russia itself, where we've seen the growth outlook being upgraded, the GDP growth outlook to 2.6%, which is more than double the pace of what the IMF predicted in October. Does that tell you that Western sanctions against Russia aren't working if the economy continues to improve. What it tells us is that this is a war economy in which the state, which let's remember, had a very uh, sizable buffer built over uh, many years of fiscal discipline, is investing in this war economy. If you look at Russia today, production goes up, military, consumption goes down. And that is pretty much what the Soviet Union used to look like. Uh, high level of production, low level of consumption. Uh, I actually think that the Russian economy is for very uh, tough times because of the outflow of people and because of the uh, l reduced access to technology uh, that comes with the sanctions. Uh, so although the, this number looks like a good number, there is a bigger story behind and it's not a very good story. Hmm. The reason I ask is because President Putin told an American interviewer last week that, look, the US and the tools that it's using simply aren't working against Russia. So what do you make of that? And also in that interview, what do you make of President Putin's attempts to justify this war? Look, um, I, I, as a European, not as the head of the IMF, uh, Europe has gone through horrific wars, and uh, they always started with the military power attacking a neighbor, and then the rest of the world sitting on the sidelines. The consequences, the whole world in flames. Uh, so I think that uh, it would be uh, very uh, unfortunate if the world decides again to turn an eye on a military power invading a neighbor. I know the history of uh, our part of the world. As a Bulgarian, I can tell you that in the 8th century, Bulgaria was a, a big power in the region, great Bulgaria, uh, with uh, land that was uh, four times bigger than what we have today. What we have today is Bulgaria today. And I think we all have to be uh, respectful of where we are today and who we are today. Not looking back onto ancient history, so to speak. You look back in uh, ancient uh, history, uh, good to know it, uh, but uh, act on where we are as a world today and uh, recognize that peace is much better than the alternative for everybody.